welcome to Plugged In, where I give you the hottest and the latest in music, events, and all things entertainment. My name is Tracy Ikopitz. Let's get started. Shaki Blutaya, husband to one Zari Hassan, the boss lady, took to the ring on the 13th of October and fought the one and only J.K. Kazora. Hmm? Now, if this was a much anticipated game, every punch, every kick was so exciting to the crowd and they cheered. But Zari was giving us some dramatic reactions. Every time there was a punch thrown to Shakib, she would cover her eyes. A lot of people said that it was so dramatic, it was over exaggerated, but me personally, I don't think it was because I think when you love someone, you don't even want a hair on them to be harmed. And she loves her husband naturally. So why would she want to watch him get pummeled? Don't you think it was a mismatch? Like JK and Shakib, like Shakib is, you know, all ripped and all that. And then JK is like, bear vibes, I don't know. <laughs> no comment, but what I can say is Shakib won that fight. <laughs> but imagine if he didn't. I feel like if I was Zari, I would have gotten the biggest ache if my husband was fighting and did not win. As a man. Yeah, as a man, why are you losing? Like, what are you doing? You go for a whole fight and you lose? Guys, come on. <laughs> but which, which celebrities do you think you'd want to, to see, like, in I a think, celebrity kickoff? You know, I think I want to see some ladies this time. I think it's so obvious for it to be men. Mm, I think I want to see a Kampala Krim show, showdown. Maybe like who? Maybe we get like a life of the party. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I think that would be one I'd like. I, to I think see. I already know how that would end. But <laughs> let me let me let me let me, let me behave. We never know. We never know. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a fun game. People really enjoyed it, and there was a lot of. Uh, talk online when Zari rushed to the ring after the game was done and hugged her husband and even shared a kiss with him. Now, it makes me wonder, like, is it just, it's not common to for couples to kiss in public or it's just not a common thing that's done in our society? Why was it such a big thing that a wife kissed her husband, you know? I mean, okay, it made sense for them to do it because obviously he just won a fight. She's there supporting him, congratulating him. But why Why did a lot of people have so much to say about it? I wonder, I wonder, what do you think, Kayla? Have you seen black people kiss? <laughs> it's not a sight, it's not a sight. I feel like we have just grown up in this culture where PDA is something that's not embraced as it's taboo. Mm, I agree. I think also where I grew up, I grew up in, in a very uh, white community. So seeing that I go to my friends' houses and their parents would always be like touchy and lovey-dovey. But you know, that's not something that I would see so much, you know, at home. Even every time my parents would be like touchy, I'd be like, ew, like, what are you doing? Like, we don't do that, you know? So I think we're definitely raised to be a little bit more conservative. But anyway, congrats, Shakib, And I hope we get to see more celebrity matches. Time for Braka. So, Joshua Baraka had a concert in London that he completely sold out. The venue was full, guys. It was so beautiful to see a Ugandan artist go to a whole other country, not just like in any other country, like England, and show out like that. It was so beautiful. It's also so great to see Ugandan music really just being appreciated on the international scale. It was so wonderful, but it really begs the question, what does it take for Ugandan music to make it out there? Obviously, we know Joshua Baraka is so loved. He came with a new sound, a whole new feel, you know, but what does it take to get other Ugandan music to be recognized on such a level? Does it need to be somehow westernized for it to be appreciated? I don't know. Josh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, there's a lot more uh, to the music industry than just talent. I think what Joshua has is a team. Absolutely. Yeah, he has a great team, and that team is not best just in Uganda. Mm -hmm. It's best in different parts of, 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 the, of the world. So I think his greatest art asset is a team. Mm. I feel like Ugandan artists are very talented, so that's not the question. Mm. But we're not organized at that level to be able Absolutely. to pull off things like that. Yeah, I get that. And also, we have a, a great diaspora following in in the UK. Like, the Ugandans of the UK, I love how they band together to support one another. Yeah. Shout out, man. And if you notice, like, from the videos, it, it actually even wasn't just Ugandans. Like, mm. you know, there were so many, I don't know, white, white people and a bunch of all that stuff. Yeah. You know, seeing Ugandan amazing. lyrics. So that was amazing. Amazing. I love to see it. I think more than anything, this shows us that we should 
follow our dreams because you never know where that leap of faith is gonna get you i mean he had a whole song called dreams and said see me now i'm on tv now you know such an inspiration i love to see it so andre onana is in uganda for the second time and as usual ugandans were super super excited um he's here for his game uh with cameroon against kenya which is an afcon qualifier and obviously like a lot of people are happy to see him the man U fans especially but just ugandans and general you know josh here likes to say that he united all soccer fans not just man united fans at that point doesn't matter you're not segregated you are all united for onana <laughs> we, we are all in that moment all of us were in that part of the table yeah we were like at the bottom half of the table <laughs> i don't know guys maybe me personally i'm grossed up at anything that's united but i can appreciate when there is Oh, an international player. Like, why even celebrating a guy who lets those many goals go through his hands? Anyway, <laughs> guys, anyway, people were so excited to see him that he gave a fan a boot of his. Yeah? And Bambi, that fan also suffered. He said it was difficult for him to leave Nambole. And people were pulling on him. But you know, it was a fight that he had to win. He had to make it out alive. And he did, man. He said he's going to... Um, put the shoe in a box, in a glass box, so you can always just be appreciating it. So I guess it really shows how much Onana really means to people here, man. I would love to see it. We love to see it. And we love to see international acts coming here. We want more. Let more sports people come. So today's song of the day, I just think it makes so much sense in line of what we talked about. It has to be Dreams by Joshua Baraka. I don't know. I really relate to the song, just me personally. When he said, see me now, I'm on TV now. That's, that was the line. That was a line. You know, I have to absolutely love to see it. That's today's pick of the day. Dreams, Joshua Baraka. And that is it for today, you guys. Until next time, I'm Tracy Akerbit. Make sure to follow us on social media that is plugged in on TikTok and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Standing out.